Right, inspired by a guy in the States called Cutlery Lover, High Cutlery Lover, um, I just want to do a few videos about some of the knives I use. Um, I'm not sure whether it's on the Crazy Man's TV channel or on the, the Fruitwise channel. I think I'll put it on the Fruitwise channel because we're looking at fruits anyway. This is a paring knife. Uh, this particular one is made by Sabatier and that's a French company. Now I'm not sure, to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure whether the handle is made from heavy wood. It looks like ebony or probably high density plastic, more likely high density plastic. This particular knife, um, you can see it's a one piece construction all the way through. Um, it's just one piece of steel and with rivets, brass rivets. And you might think, what is the point of a knife with a tiny little blade like that? Well, this is used for, for you know, boning out bits of chicken. You have, you have a bone meat off of a chicken to fit the little bits. But today we're using it for some plums. Let's have a quick look at these plums. Um, see how the knife is in my hand? Now, we've got some plums here. I won't tell you the whole story of these plums, because this is really about the knife, but uh, rather than the plums. But anyway, we're going away for a few days, and we've got a number of plums on the trees. Oh, look at that one, eh? It looks a bit cheeky, doesn't it? But anyway, um, having said that, we've got these plums and uh, we're not going to be able to eat them fresh and we don't have a market to go to. There's not enough plums uh, from this particular harvest to go to a market. So we're going to do this, going to preserve some of these. Yeah, I'm, and this is just for cutting bits out. Can you see, I mean, just look at my knife, just how convenient it is to use this knife. What we're doing is we're halving and stoning these plums. Now, you don't want a long blade for this. You look a short little blade. Look, you see the way that I can do things against my thumb with that? Obviously you want to be careful not to cut yourself, but, uh, you know, the knife is fixed there and I, using my thumb, just observe the way the, um, the thumb and the plum interact. Just cutting out a bit of um, uh, wasp, damage. Wasp, wasp damage. So, I mean, you can, you can see just what a... Handy little knife. Sabatier, by the way, is a, a French company. It makes some pretty high quality knives. I bought this from Dingham's, uh, which is an extremely good um, kitchen shop. If you are ever in Winchester, then uh, visit Dingham's. It's in the close behind the cathedral. I was uh, cycle touring in New Zealand once and sang in a, a hostel in Christchurch. No, it wasn't. It was Queenstown. It's in Queenstown. And they, they said there, uh, in one of the books, they like to get people to fill books because people travel to New Zealand from all over the world. And why wouldn't you? What a lovely place. Um, I was in Queenstown and, um, and they said, write about your hometown. Tell us about your hometown. And I wrote about my hometown of Southampton. I was living in Southampton at that time. I now live outside Southampton. And I said, if you're ever visiting Southampton, uh, don't bother. I said, go to Winchester. <laughs> <laughs> instead, because it's a much more interesting town to visit. But anyway, um, that's why I got this. Uh, if you're in Winchester, Dingham's is a really good kitchen shop. And you might look at this knife and think, hey, what's the point of that? You want a big blade? No, you don't. You want a comfortable handle and you want a blade that is the correct shape for the job. And by the way, I have just put an edge on this, uh, which is why it's going through these plums. I'll just give you an idea how sharp this is. I've just put an edge on this with my um, uh, Japanese water stone and I'll show you something about that in another video. But uh, just quickly, again, uh, I remember cutting, I remember somebody once lent me a knife on a fishing boat and I cut myself on it and I said, ow, I cut myself. And he said, well, what did you expect? <laughs> uh, you know, if it's not sharp enough, as I've said many times before, that uh, edge tools, so they're not sharp enough to, to hurt you. They're not sharp enough to do the job that they're intended to do. Okay, thank you very much, Julia. So we have plums and the Sabatier paring knife, which is really a, a meat knife. It's for paring little, getting in little fiddly crevices if you're boning out the, the flesh of a chicken. But absolutely fantastic for a job like this.